welcome back to JimMurphyMP.com, a way of keeping in touch with local and national news. As you can see from the mess behind me, I think you can probably see the ladder and other bits and pieces. Um, the office is a wee bit of state of disrepair, but that's not because we're messy, uh, or not just because we're messy, it's because we're moving office next week, myself and Ken McIntosh. We'll publish all the details online, uh, but those who are getting in touch next week, um, just do it through the usual website, um, and also by the usual telephone number, we'll pick up voicemails, it's just that the the process of this move takes a couple of days, um, so we won't be in and around the office and the staff won't be in and around the office as we move to the new offices and we hope to be up and running um, by next Friday, um, all going smoothly and if BT and others get the phone lines connected. Um, today I've been out playing football in the Hailstones, not just for fun but a big charity match at Airdrie United, so well done to Airdrie for putting that on in support of Sense. We won 4-3, um, uh, Andy Gorham and Frank McAvenny uh, were in the other team, but we still won 4-3. Those old guys can still move, and Gorham's still a great goalie. Um, certainly made a couple of saves from myself. But it was for Sense, a fantastic charity. Again, look at them online, and today's event is a £5,000, I think, for them. So that's a couple of hours well spent. Now, the big news in politics isn't about our move, and it isn't about that charity football match. It's about what happens in Parliament and the House of Commons next Tuesday. It's the fact is that it's the Chancellor's Autumn Statement. Sounds a pretty anodyne phrase, the Autumn Statement, but it's a really important um, reflection of where the economy is going and what the government plans to do about it. It's an opportunity for the government, if you like, to either confirm that it's continuing on its present course or, in light of recent events, I'm thinking of changing course now. Over the past few days or so, the figures have come out about the levels of youth unemployment. A million young people out of work. Now, regardless what age you are, Unemployment is a dreadful experience. Uh, it robs you often of your sense of self-worth as well as your income. Um, and being unemployed is one of the least healthy things that anyone can ever do, particularly in the number of people who then develop um, complications of mental health illness and other things. So look, unemployment is never a price worth paying. That's famously what Mrs Thatcher says. And it seems that, to some degree, George Osborne, David Cameron and his cheerleaders and the Lib Dems are starting to take that same approach. Is it's a price worth paying to get us out of these difficulties? So, with a million young people out of work, they just can't continue the way they're going. The government is going to have to think again. And small projects, small schemes just won't do it. There needs to be a massive effort to support those people to get back into work. The economy needs to get going again. We need economic growth so the jobs are there, so that we can support business, so that they can take people on. And it just doesn't seem that this plan that they've got at the moment is working. An increasing numbers of people realise they're worse off under this government than they were before. Now, we know we've got to make some, we would have to make some cuts and we would do so, but we wouldn't be doing it at this pace, at this depth. Now, let's see what happens in Parliament. I'll obviously update you and you'll see it in the news, but as usual, get in touch in the normal manner, by email, um, by Facebook, by Twitter, uh, a wee bit disrupted, I say, next week because of the office move, or... The most reliable way, because when the House of Commons isn't moving, is go to the post office, buy a stamp, stick it on an envelope and post it to the House of Commons. That's all for just now. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.